Right, so we've taxied round, we're holding short at Alpha 1 for runway 05 uh, because the wind is 050, it's 6 knots, 6 knots is not a lot so it's not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll take off along here, we'll climb up to about five or 600 feet and then we shall do a right turn I believe. Let's have a look, let's zoom in on the map. This is Navigraph. It's it's a flight sim version of what real uh, uh, real world pilots use. Yep. So we're going to take off along here, climb up a bit, get the plane cleaned up, and then we'll do a right turn onto a heading of one eight nine, which will bring us round, and then we'll track this. And our first point is quite a way to go see Golf Uniform Sierra Sierra India and we can set the plane up then to follow this via GPS so that's how that works so let's put that back over there and here we are there's no air traffic control at the moment so it's left to your own devices so let's line up on the runway anyway and see how we do People who've been watching some of my videos know that I'm not the most ac accomplished of flyers. I'm practicing <coughs> and uh, getting better, hopefully. But this is the best way to learn in a lot of respects because you don't kill yourself or other people. And it doesn't cost you a fortune in ever playing bits if it goes wrong. So, And it's it's just enjoyable. And the, this Microsoft... Uh, 2020 is is very very good it's it's just the the scenery is almost I mean it's not but it's almost photorealistic in that um, you can actually overfly your own house I've done that and things like that um, I believe they they've teamed up with um, with Google Maps and you can buy add-ons let's move the mouse out can buy add-on scenery and stuff uh, which makes the basic airports which are all plotted all over the world in Microsoft Flight Sim uh, more accurate to the real world airport so this is this is actually um, an add-on scenery package uh, that simulates uh, Inverness Airport as of 2020 uh, and they do regularly update things so it's quite amazing so what we'll do is we'll put one stage of flaps in uh, and on this plane to take the brakes off what you have to do is put your feet on the brakes which the toe brakes then if you saw them go forward there under the uh, the yoke and then take the handbrake off and holding it on the brakes we bring the pressure up because you steer in aeroplanes when you're on the ground with your feet and then slowly build the revs up just keeping an eye on the temperatures and the pressures on the gauges in case anything starts to go wrong trying to keep the center line bring in a full throttle everything looks good air speeds alive 80 knots 85 rotate we're off the ground there we go positive rate so we'll take the gear up hold the uh, airfield line for a bit while we're still over the runway allow the speed to build up just a little bit and then we'll take those flaps up a bit <coughs> oh excuse me okay now we're going to turn right <coughs> oh dear I do apologise the nose down a bit now we'll lose too much air speed climbing between 90 and 100 mile an hour now it's miles an hour on this it's such an old plane that it actually works out in miles an hour we'll climb up to uh, 2,000 feet I think a nice gentle climb up and we can see it's a banking round might see the runway in a bit the uh, airport in a bit 
might have to go a bit higher than 2,000 because uh, being in Scotland, we might uh, have uh, a few issues with mountains. And planes of mountains don't don't. There's a, the airport there over there. Look, that's where we've just taken off from. Right, let's bring that. No, we don't want to go down. We want to go up. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> So, if we now put the autopilot in, and it's hard to do on it, I should now hold just under two. Right, that's that one there is uh, just basically holding the wings straight and level. If we put it on to that one, that was heading, now this one's track, so it'll basically follow see that magenta line there it'll bring us onto that and it'll follow that oh there you go right so just checking everything we can bring on this plane if you look at the manifold pressure says MAP we can bring that down to 24 and also the revs per minute down to about 24 which is that optimum for this aeroplane. This is new as damn it. There we go. <coughs> we can uh, just zoom in on this. There you go, look, just tracking for that red line, look, or magenta line. Got some uh, hills coming up, so we might have to climb a little bit more. I might take up to 3,000 in a minute just to make sure that we don't hit anything we don't want to hit because I have been known to do that as well. Again, like I say, it's the best way to do it because if I do hit anything, I don't kill anyone, and we don't want to be doing that, do we? Right, so I think what we'll do is we'll take off. It's hard to do with this. Right, take that off. And we'll just climb a little bit more. We'll take up to about 3,000, I think. <laughs> so the autopilot's still on tracking the magenta line. But I've taken the um, alt hold off. I think we're descending now, that right, so if I put a bit of this is the you have to be careful. I've got I've got the yoke I'm using isn't the best. I'd like to get a a better quality one but finances and stuff like that, you know how it goes. Let's get up to three thousand and then we'll put the hold back on. That's near enough though, and then what we can do is lean out the mixture because the higher you get, the less air there is, the air's thinner, so you have to thin out the, the fuel as well to um, make sure you don't flood the engine and obviously to save on fuel because it's expensive stuff. Slowly bring that down, it should, there you go, leanest. What I usually do when it says leanest is just push it back a little bit and then we're happy at that. And there we go. I can show you actually if I bring, sorry, I'm using a thing called a Toby head tracker and uh, I'm now looking at my other monitor which means it looks to you like I'm looking over the wing. So there we are, we've left Echo Golf Popper Echo which is Inverness Airport and we're heading to Gussie on that magenta line and then it will take us 
to NSD. They have some great names, don't they? These waypoints, NSD. You can see it because it actually, if I do that, you can see all the different waypoints all the way through to EGNS, and it's just currently recommending to land on runway 26. Though that might be wrong because it recommended takeoff on 11, but the wind direction wasn't 11, it was 5, so it made sense to take off on 5. So there's EGNS. So when we get closer to that, we can look at the, uh, the charts for that and check the weather and uh, see which one we need, to, which uh, runway we need to land on. So that's basically how it works. So you can enjoy the scenery, have a good look around, look at that, and just imagine what it would be like to do this for real. It would be terrifying, <laughs> especially if I was your pilot, but maybe one day I'll be good enough and have the money and stuff to be able to do it for real. I would love that. So that's it. I'll uh, I'll possibly do a bit more video on the landing. So I hope you enjoyed that. Right, I'm looking at where the monitor now to stop the recording.